Yeah, like uh, first half was good. I think um, second half we just didn't build enough. Like we, we built in the first half, just kept staying at it, did the right things. We did the same things in the second half, but in like less consistently. So I don't I think we were trying to look for for more when we didn't really need to look for more. We just needed to keep doing what we were doing and building a score, you know. But I think off the back of the, the two weeks we've had, a lot of work's gone in there. Um, yeah, I, I think it was a good hit out for us, really good one. Loved it. Yeah, great to be back out there. Um, physical. Uh, there'll be some sore bodies tomorrow, but uh, yeah, enjoyable. A re really good contest. Yeah, it's always good to get the first one. Um, the first one out of the way. Um, training's been pretty tough, so I think it translates pretty well. We've been trying to be pretty game specific with our training, and um, you know, working with uh, Lucan and Demo, I thought we worked fairly well together, and we'll keep working on that that combination. Yeah, good. Like the, I felt like he could play longer than. Um, Longer than we probably planned to. He looked like he wasn't, you know, um, showing any signs. It wasn't a huge ball in play time uh, game, uh, but yeah, just to have his leadership and and his footy presence out there, that'll take him a few games to get reacclimatised to the pace of things probably. But he's a very quick uh, um, learner. There's no doubt about that. So I'm sure he'll be back into his shoes soon enough. So I think just to get him through that time um, off the back of what's happened so far this season is a big tick for us. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously you've got some good minutes into Jack Dempsey as well. We'll have to yeah. play a lot recently. Uh, what does this do in terms of all the different background permutations? Yeah, good competition, you know. I thought Lucan had one of his better games too for, for this season. So he obviously is he's seen the challenges. He, he got a few starts early on and, and now he's, he's seen the challenges coming. So everyone is looking to step it up and that's what we want, you know. I don't. I think that uh, gives us good options and, and creates competition inside of the squad. You, you, you always talk about um, you know one game at a time, next game. The next game is the game, start of the World Cup. Yep. Um, what, what did you learn tonight that you can, you can put into that game? Oh, mate, no, I think the thing about building, just to stay on the, the things you're doing and keep building, you don't, look, you don't need to land a knockout blow. Uh, in, in these, it's going to be knockout footy all the time now, so just keep building, staying at it. Doing what you do, enjoying it. I thought, you know, our, our ruck ball was quick in the first half, and it, it was quick in the second half too. We just um, didn't have as much of it because we turned a few easier, a few balls over because we tried to push the pass or some bits and pieces there. So, um, and you know, it was good. Like the uh, Samoa came back at us. I took a few of the senior guys off. The other guys had to respond, and they were able to in the back half of the game, which was good. What was the feedback on the scrum? You seemed to have the dominance there in the first half and then that kind of turned around. Yeah, mate, I was really disappointed that we didn't get more pay from the scrum uh, penalty-wise. Like, I wasn't quite sure what was going on uh, on the on the loose, on our loose head side. Like, it was pretty obvious. But I, we got no pay there at all. And, uh, yeah, I, I was actually bemused about that situation. And then when uh, Alo Emil came on, who we know, he's a good player, very good scrummager, we needed to stay. We needed our hooker to do his job on our own meal, and we didn't do that for the first couple. And then we adjusted, and we got we got our we got our shape back around the scrum. We were back into the contest. Yeah, I thought they were good. I think earlier on we tried. We probably creeped up a little bit too much. Like we were anxious to get the game going, so we need to just hold our depth a little bit. Small were coming hard through the line, but we were able to. To pick a few of those opportunities off, thought Enya was good as well. He, he gave us a lot of quick distribution and was under a lot of fire. Um, the Samoans were after him, you know. What I mean, they were trying to hit him at all opportunities, and he was still able to distribute quite well. So uh, first game for Bernard for a while, and I thought he, he had a good game. Yeah. No headaches, mate. Just that's what that's what it is. You want to have. You, you want to have as many players as possible competing for the spots. That, uh, it's, uh, it's exactly where you want to be going into the tournament, you know. And I think that um, we have a really good um, 
atmosphere in the team where players will compete with each other and then once one gets selected, the other one works with them to make sure that the right outcome comes to them in the game. You know, there's a really good camaraderie inside of the team at the moment. I think, realistically, that what, what we're feeling like now is we just can't wait for it to start. You know, it's just probably not something you may not have said six or seven months ago, but we really feel like we're, we can't wait for it. We're just excited about getting it on. I guess one of the big points off a game like this is how did everyone pull up? Like Coleman came up. Yeah, no, I think he's good. He, there's no sign of any serious damage there. I think he just got a bit of a fright there, maybe. He got hit right on it as he made that pass. Uh, it'll teach him to pass the ball a bit quicker next time because he took his time. The, the, the wheels were turning inside his head. Next thing you know, he was clattered from the side. So, um, uh, no, he looks good and, and there's no uh, sign of any other uh, injury. So, just clarifying, that was a thumb for him, was it? Yes, thumb? yeah, it was a thumb injury. But you had such a big impact at the last World Cup, but so much time out of the game this year. Like, do you feel you're in the right place because it means good to, to a game make a big impression on the ball? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, you know, the challenge when you're not playing is to be trying to build momentum through the, the rehab you do and training with the team, um, even when you're not getting out there. So I've been, been working on that and uh, great to get get out there tonight. Really enjoyed it. Obviously, have to have to keep building, and, and we'll be doing that. We've got a nice little block of time in in Japan to to sort of acclimatise and get ready, and uh, we'll be good to go. Dave, unfortunately, we have lots of rehab processes, but was that one of the, the Yeah, early on there was a bit of uncertainty, but man, I've had. I was thinking about it this week. I've had so much support. Um, yeah, the, you know, the medical staff have gone out of their way, and uh, you know, obviously teammates, coaches, family and friends. Um, yeah, incredibly grateful to have the support networks I've got, and uh, to get back is is very satisfying. Um, but there's plenty to do over the next couple of months. That's for sure.